Hey everybody, I'm Meliton Herona and I'll be your speaker for today. Just a quick background of myself, I'm a former dancer, cheerleader, and now currently I'm a fitness professional and a group exercise instructor here in Hong Kong. I've studied in University of the Philippines with a bachelor's degree in sports science and I've been in the fitness industry for almost five years now. Fitness and exercise has always been a passion and now a career for me in life. So, Alright, so before I get started, I just want you guys to ask yourself two things. Number one is who here gets to exercise or do an activity for maybe 60 minutes in a week or around 30 minutes in a day? And number two, who here can actually say that they are physically active? If you answered yes on the two questions, that's great. That's good for you and I hope you get to continue it even when you get older. And if not, if you answered no, then that's okay too. And I hope this can also help you to achieve a better active lifestyle moving forward. As we all know, exercise is an important part for us to have a healthy lifestyle. And here I'm just going to be giving you guys a few benefits of how and why we need to do uh, fitness or exercise. Number one, it would help us prevent and of course reduce any health-related problems or diseases that may occur. So for example, obesity, hypertension, any heart problems, and the like. So these are usually the common uh, sickness na nakukuha ng isang tao from the lack of physical activity. So exercise and fitness would really help a person prevent all these. So kung may kilala kayo na may ganitong problem or you personally is experiencing these, I suggest you can start building your habit of working out or having an active lifestyle. Number two, it would actually strengthen an individual, not just physically but also mentally and emotionally. What do I mean by this? We usually know that pag nag-workout tayo, we get stronger, we, our muscles grow, we get uh, fitter, right? So that's the physical aspect. But it also trains our mental and our emotional side, of course, because every time we work out, every time we do an activity, we get to release these happy hormones, the endorphins. So in turn, these helps the body to feel good about ourselves. It's an organic antidepressant. So it also helps in having better motivation, having more focus, maybe in school, in work, or anywhere kung saan man. And of course, it also releases stress and of course improves sleep. Na mas nakakatulong talaga with uh, having those good hormones and you feeling good about yourself. Number three, it also helps us to be more disciplined, not just in the workout aspect, but also in life in general, maybe um, Sa akad wise yan, it trains us to be disciplined, to follow uh, our goals, maybe in nutrition, sa food natin. So, yeah, it also helps a lot in building our character and our uh, habits as we go along. And number four is it improves our self esteem. It makes us more confident, it helps us feel good about ourselves, how we look, how we talk to other people, how we meet other people, and how we become better versions of ourselves, right? So, yeah. So for today, let me just give you three tips that you can do to help you improve your fitness journey, especially now that we're in a pandemic. So tip number one is for you to find something that you really like to do. So it doesn't have to be a workout. Um, kung mahili kayo mag-dance, mahili kayo mag-running, mag-bike, mag mag-cycling, then you find it. Because honestly, it would really help you guys especially if you like these kinds of things. And mas hindi nyo mararamdaman na nag-exercise kayo dahil you like doing what you like doing, right? Like for me, I really like dancing, performing, being on stage. So when I feel down or like I'm not motivated enough to work out or to move, then I just play music, I dance, I do TikTok, I do online classes para lang ma-motivate ako. Because that's where I feel like I'm free. It doesn't have to be dancing always. So, if you want to walk, if you want hiking, then do it. If you like boxing, if you like swimming, you can do it. So, yeah. 
Tip number two is to make a plan or a schedule. Try listing down what you need to do in a day. Like for example, for me, I usually set my week to three to four workouts at least. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And then I try to stick to it para meron akong ina-achieve na goals every week. So yeah, that's my schedule. Um, usually also in a day, like I set what time I can work out or really setting up myself na go work out ako ng ganitong oras. This is what I gotta do. This is what I want to achieve for the day. Just so I get to train myself also to be disciplined or to be organized better. And tip number three is to be resourceful. Usually, naririnig kong excuses is wala naman ako equipment sa bahay and wala akong space and stuff like that. And it doesn't have to always have the equipment or the big space that you can do. Even just a small space that you can work on or just doing bodyweight exercises or using water bottles, using your bag na mabigat. So yeah, it would help you guys to be more creative and more resourceful. Madaming exercises also that you can learn online na you can do at home without any equipment. Always be resourceful, always be creative in making your workouts, exploring what you can use at home, your stairs, chair that you can do, the sofa, everything can be used to your advantage. So let me just show you three exercises that you can add to your home workout that is very beneficial and you can do it at your own pace. Let's go. So that's all for today. I hope you got something out of this quick talk. And if you have any questions, you can message me or just ask me on my Instagram at Winter Melaton. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye guys!